let's look at another tool for internal analysis and this is called value chain analysis yeah. value chain analysis it refers to the critical assessment of the different activities carried out by the organization you assess the different activities and see which one is performing better than the other and which one is not performing yeah every organization performs different activities let me give an example of moves it performs different activities like teaching examination registration orientation graduation so you assess all those activities to see which one is performing better than the other yeah you you look at teaching how are the lecturers teaching examination which kind of exams are being given then the registration orientation how are students being oriented then graduation yeah so value chain analysis it looks at the critical assessment of the different activities carried out by the organization yeah you analyze to be able to identify the strength and the weakness of the organization to see where you can improve and where your strength is yeah value chain analysis looks at the current and potential looks at what current and potential customers value the most yeah and the activities performed by the organization are categorized into two we have the primary activities and the secondary activities also known as the supportive activities we shall first look at the primary value chain activities yeah, and these are five Primary value chain activities are activities that are concerned with the direct physical creation of a product. Activities that are concerned with directly creating a product. And the first one we have is inbound logistics. Inbound logistics, these are activities that are concerned with the transportation and storage of inputs or externally sourced materials. Yeah, it ensures that the materials are transported and it ensures that they are stored safely, which is a strength, and it will lead to continuous production. And that is inbound logistics. It's about the transportation of inputs that are used in creation of a product. Then, then we have production and operations. Production and operations, these are activities that are concerned with the conversion of inputs into outputs. Yeah, after inbound logistics, you, you have to convert the inputs that you've gotten into output, and that is production and operations. Then another activity is outbound logistics. Outbound logistics looks at the activities that are concerned with the transportation of finished goods to the to the market. Yeah, if they are transported safely, then it is a strength of the organization, and if they are not, it is a weakness. Yeah. So after after transporting the inputs and then converting them into outputs, you transport the outputs to the market, which is outbound logistics. And then another one is another primary activity is marketing and sales, and this is concerned with the provision of information about the goods and services to the customers. You market the product, and if your marketing department is functioning well, it is a strength of the organization, and if it is not, it is a weakness. And lastly, we have after sales services. These are services that are given to customers after selling to them. It can be an example can be a discount, there is free transportation, free installation, guarantees and then warranties. Yeah, so those are the five primary value chain activities. We have inbound logistics, production and operation, outbound logistics, marketing and sales, then after sales services. Then we have the supportive value chain activities or the secondary value chain activities. 
Yeah, and these are activities that are not directly involved in the production of the product. Yeah, it's not. It's the opposite of the primary. Primary, they're directly involved, but for the secondary, they are not directly involved. They just support. Yeah, and the first one we have is company infrastructure, and this is concerned with the support systems and functions to the organization. You need infrastructure to deliver and operate and operate the activities of the organization. So the infrastructure, they support the production of the product, but they're not directly involved. For example, the building, yeah, the building of the organization. Then another one we have is human resource management. And this one looks at the things that are involved in the selection, recruitment, induction, orientation, performance appraisal of employees. So it is mainly concerned with the employees of the organization. Then we have procurement. Procurement, it, is, it, it looks at the activities concerned with the sourcing of raw materials, the activities that are concerned with buying of raw materials from the suppliers, that is procurement. Then the last one is value adding technology, and this is concerned with the development of information systems in the organization. And those are the main four support value chain activities or secondary value chain activities. Company infrastructure, HR management, procurement, and then value adding technology. Thanks for watching.